so hot today hello guys welcome to the show today we continue building the c124 with the m104 engine we got some parts over there so we have some parts arrived this is silver project rear camber arms we have silver project top mounts already installed on the car we have 60 minus 2 trigger wheel we have uh, tps connectors for the sensor that is going to be reading out of our uh, crankshaft wheel uh, we have some um, lock nut exhaust manifold nuts we have uh, exhaust manifold studs there's the part numbers over there if you need to get the same ones uh, we have manifold gaskets these are original from mercedes actually i have a spare set uh, i'm running we're gonna be running sorry we're gonna be running 470 cc injectors this is the part number on them focus please Okay, so 0280156280. Um, these are off eBay, of course. Um, so it might be less than 470, but we'll figure that out on the dyno when it's time for. Um, as I said, top mount installed already. I have another set of uh, the gaskets. This is uh, the part number if you need them as well. Uh, I have some brake hoses for the front and back brakes. Uh, I have done some of the wiring as we have seen it before. So all the, this stuff is wired in. Um, I just need to connect it to the plug. So what we're going to be doing today, taking the AC condenser at the front, taking the pulley off so I can weld the trigger wheel. Um, and maybe, maybe we can put the injectors in, uh, wire in the injectors themselves because they're not, that's where we left from before. <laughs> Condenser is out, took some beating out, but it's out now. Uh, apparently, you need to loosen up the condenser so you can move the remove the headlights because there's uh, one bolt over here, and the condenser is like right in the way. Also, by the way, I swept the floor with my floor sweeper 3000. Um, so yeah, this is out. I had to cut the pipes because they just wouldn't go out. So the advantage of this now is that I can put a pipe wrench onto one side and then on the other side with the impact gun I can just rattle them off. Um, a lot of rust over this area where the headlights is. But that's our problem. We'll fix that in a later stage. Um, I'm going to start removing the this fan over here, the visco fan, uh, because it's gonna be in the way. Um, after I remove the visco fan, um, well, I will need to drill some bolts out. Let's put it that way, so it will take a little bit longer than usual. Uh, but I'll remove this after I remove it. Um, 
I will take a picture of how the belt rolls around the engine. I'm gonna zip that off um, and then it's to the crank pulley. So this is our trigger wheel, this is our pulley, they need to mate each other and become something like that. Um, I think I will need to grind a little bit down from it um, so I can weld it perfectly on the edge, something like that. I marked over here where the big dot was on the big balance pulley, so we'll see what was that in just a second. But yeah, that needs to be welded like this. And I'm probably gonna weld over here on the inside so it doesn't interfere with the belt or with the readings on the crank um, sensor. So that's the plan. Let, let me clean that up a little bit and then we're gonna buzz a big weld. Well, a few welds, not, not completely, you know. Don't need to be overkill or whatever. So let's do that. Cool. Now we're going to check the clearance on the trigger wheel that I welded and on the idler pulley for the visco fan. So Ellie's going to hit the key. We're looking these two if they're going to hit. Yeah. That is pretty good. No hitting, so we can continue forward making the bracket. So the crankshaft sensor will will cater or bracket it's done it looks like this it's basically a 90 degree with a cutout for the sensor to sit in uh, it's bolted with two allen k bolts to the alternator bracket um, and it sits like this let me show you so you slot it from the back like that and then you just tighten the bolt at the bottom really tight clearance so hopefully it's reading well um, and the cable is gonna go down or maybe up in between the stuff I haven't figured that one out but the cable is easy we'll just roll to somewhere so yeah that's our ignition system that's the way it's gonna be looking <coughs> um, I tried the visco so it has enough space this is in the middle as well so should be good let me assemble some more stuff and we'll show you uh, where we got up to hello day number two i can install all the studs to the manifold let me show you all the studs are on i'm gonna slap in the gasket there we go By the way, Ellie's doing some magic over there on the ambulance. <laughs> and I'm over here slacking, doing some turbo builds or whatever they're called. Whoop! Uh, come on. Yeah. Call that good enough. You stay there. I had to notch over here a little bit uh, for the EGR, EGR um, blank. 
because we're not gonna be running DJR and I had to clean up uh, some aluminum from grind down some aluminum from the oh look at that like a glove from the EGR bracket as well so if shiny new nuts put these on in a second but yeah I had to grind over there look um, some metal free so the manifold can drop down and slide into the um, the stud there's the clearance that I made for the cap not a big deal just cut it it's fine uh, I have already installed the blanking plate down there you can see it in the middle uh, we're not working with much room for downpipe but I think it's gonna be fine crank sensor is installed that's the way it's gonna be looking there's the cable, it's already run through. It's gonna go connect to the mega square over there. Need to install the injectors, uh, TPS wire, wire everything into the plugs, and then it's a vroom vroom time, buddy. Um, so, yeah, I'll do some more work. I'll bolt down completely the manifold and I'll get back. No way, how can I be sweating? It's only 40 degrees. <sighs> All right, cool. Everything is installed. Now we need the turbo, downpipe, and uh, something over there, that region, to make it all fired up and work. I'll need to put the ground strap, the power strap, injectors, TPS, both of the plugs for the both of ECUs, and then fire. But yeah, we're gonna go. T3 on T4 hybrid from uh, eBay. Um, I have removed the EGR pump. I'm gonna make uh, like a space to sit in between over here so we don't snap any of the brackets. And the tension is good. Uh, I'm gonna need to get a short belt, of course. Uh, now the pump is missing. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. I think we're gonna wrap it up for this episode so thank you really much for watching if you stay till the end consider subscribing comment down below if you like it or not so yeah see you next time